in, in a, quite a large number of cases now, um, it has been observed that over time, there is a recovery, there can be a recovery of vision through the amblyopic eye, even in adults. Now this recovery can take year, months to years, but it clearly can occur. And we've been studying this in more detail um, recently, a, a collaboration I have with an, an excellent neuro-ophthalmologist named Eric Geyer. Um, and we've been looking at the, uh, the incidence and prevalence of this um, type of recovery. And it's much more common than previously suspected. So what that means is, is that there is plasticity in the adult brain. That's good, uh, especially for those of us you know, that have mature nervous systems. Um, but what is the, what is the, what, what has precipitated this recovery? What has allowed this recovery to occur? And can we come up with a way to cause recovery without the loss or damage to the other eye? That's the question. So we've applied both of our understanding of the basics of synaptic plasticity combined with some theoretical work to come up with a hypothesis that the reason that recovery in the amblyopic eye occurs is not the loss of the other eye, but the temporary loss of activity in the other eye. So you could say, oh, well, in that case, patching should work, right? Patching an adult should work. You lose activity in that eye. But that is a false assumption because patching doesn't eliminate activity in the retina. It just replaces um, visually driven activity with noisy activity in the retina. The retinas are very active in the dark. So it doesn't accomplish what you want. To accomplish what you'd like to test our hypothesis, uh, you would like to completely inactivate the, the retina. And we have done this by injecting an anesthetic directly into the eye. Uh, it's a long lasting anesthetic and it's actually derived from a, um, it's a, a toxin. It's called tetrodotoxin or TTX. And what we found is, is that if we inject TTX into the eye, uh, of, these are all done in animals at this point, but an, uh, animal models of amblyopia, severe visual impairment, we inject TTX into the um, fellow eye, the good eye. What we see quite remarkably is a very dramatic and surprisingly rapid recovery of vision through the amblyopic eye. It can be complete recovery of vision to the amblyopic eye. And when the TTX wears off, the, the fellow eye, the, the, the good eye, comes bounding right back. So we're able to really reverse amblyopia in adults using this procedure. Now, at this stage, what we know is that um, the amblyopic eye is capable of evoking strong visual responses. We've been able to show um, that those visual responses can guide behavior, so the animals are using vision through that eye. Uh, what we don't know at this moment in time is whether um, there's also a recovery of binocular vision, that is to say, a recovery of stereoscopic depth perception. Now, that's, a, that's a higher bar to clear, and we don't know if we've cleared it yet. But what we can say is we can get a very dramatic improvement in vision. So I love the story because it, it's, um, it really goes from basic science um, the sort of application of, of insights from basic science to solve a, a vexing uh, clinical problem.